hi everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss about uh, how to create azure cluster aks using azure cli so yesterday we have seen uh, how to create a docker image and uh, how to push the image to docker hub using uh, azure pipeline now that that image we can pull the into docker cluster uh, aks cluster and we will run the docker image uh, docker container so for the first time when you create a aks cluster this is the official website okay microsoft uh, official website uh, to create a cluster so it is required bash environment in cloud shell so when you open that portal.azure.com you just need to select this one cloud shell so once cloud shell is open you just need if, if, if the first time you just need to run this command if you are uh, created the first time service account not service account if you created the account first time and you just need to run before uh, creating the AKS cluster so without this you will get error when you try to create a AKS cluster now once this is done you just need to create a resource group okay to create a resource group the command is this one azure uh, az create az group create hyphen hyphen name my resource group hyphen location so you can give any name az create so here uh, i'm giving my demo resource group okay and location i'm giving north europe this is the command so resource group is created if you want to check you can go to resource groups is loading just refresh see my demo resource group is created once it is created you just need to create a aks cluster okay this is the command to create aks cluster so az aks create resource group is whatever the resource group you have you just need to provide that resource group here and uh, name of the cluster you can give the name of the cluster demo in the free account i am going to create only one node in the cluster and uh, node vm size this is a standard d2a v4 and i am enabling add-ons monitoring and generate hhs I'm just copying this command so this will take uh, time to create a case cluster so it's running if you want you can check kubernetes services just i'm opening the new tab
see my demo AKS cluster still it is creating if you want you can check it's saying one node still in status is creating it's running its location in North Europe the subscription is free trial and so this is the subscription ID so we will see before that let me open my docker hub I'm done still it is running see what I'm going to here is so I'm creating the AKS cluster Azure Kubernetes cluster under this one I am going to create one node the master is maintained by the Azure and uh, so we have already image running on docker hub this is the docker hub so our images should be in docker hub so we can pull the image into the this cluster and we can run the services and we can able to act we'll, we'll try to access the application and the kubernetes cluster uh, To connect uh, AKS cluster, we need cube config file that will we need to generate at that one. So once cluster is ready, we need to get the credentials under this resource group. So this is the command to generate a get the credentials and cluster name is this is the cluster name now cluster is ready if you want to try to connect this cluster okay just refresh here 
just click connect here it, you will able to get the commands the same commands you, you able to get so you just need to run the following commands open the cloud shell and run the following commands these two commands are same only if you try to open here see this is the same so just just run these two commands if you try to run cube cube CTL get nodes you are able to get without uh, cube config file you don't get that one so if you try to do cube CTL get nodes you didn't get the response because we didn't connect uh, the services cube CTL get nodes see unable to connect look of this this one no such host now try to run these commands now merged uh, my demo aks cluster content into the dot keep config file if you try to run now gives it will get nodes now node is ready there is one node it is running okay you can see that no details as well here node pull see node 1 it succeeded one by one it is running okay these are the node size the operating system is Linux now so now we'll try to pull the image from the docker hub without uh, ML files so, so we can use uh, docker CLI commands for kubectl so for that one to get create a deployment okay the command is kubectl create deployment iphone iphone image this is the username and that this is the repo and the that version of the image and you can give the deployment name so i am giving some in the my docker image i have this of the repository this is the repository this is the username and this is the repository these are the tags available for the same repo so i am going to take the image 6 and i am going to create a deployment my deployment name is java app deployment this is the maven project yesterday we have to create it and pull using azure pipelines the command is to create a deployment kubectl create uh, basically we can create a deployment using ml file also you can write the ml file so then uh, kubectl will create iphone f and um, provided the deployment name so instead of that you can use the kubectl command to create deployment now deployment is created if you check kubectl get deploy initially it will take one minute it is not yet ready if you check kubectl get pods now pod is running if you check the deployments now deployment also is running now we can't access directly this pod inside running so for that one you just need to create a service you just need to export the service so kubectl expose deployment and the deployment name and the port number and the name of the service and type is load balancer okay currently we don't have service 
to access this application so you just need to create a services if you check now kubectl get svc only cluster ip is there this is the default one now you try to run this command no service is exposed java app service now if you check it still it is pending external ip now this ip is created okay now you can check in this cluster also if you go here load balancer workloads java app deployment okay now if you you can take this uh, ip external ip and the port number is this one just open this copy this ip port is 3333 and uh, list all customers see i am getting the response okay so this is the response i am getting from the application java app application so that's all about in this session now if you check you ctl get all so you have created deployment you have created service and the, the pod is running okay replicas replicas as by default it should be created whenever you created deployment all these things and service you created and deployment you created and the application is running fine okay so that's all about in this session we created a AKS cluster using AKS CLI and we will pull the docker image and we can run the service so if you like the video please share and subscribe thanks for watching bye